demo graph edits, they're unique. Okay, I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> Anyways, first thing we're gonna do is open our new project, guys. In today, do you guys see that? I'll be teaching you how to do the style. With the help of Prime Tools. Basically, Juan texted me. He was like, yo. And like, I was shocked. And he texted me back. But anyways, that's not the point. He has come out with a new script. Basically, he came up with his own little tool. And it's called Prime Tools. And as you can see right here, this is what it is. And I'll just like kind of show you how to use it throughout the video. So, yeah. I love you, Juan. <laughs> First, we are going to make a new composition. Keep it 1080 by 1080. First tip I would say is... You really need to know what colors are aesthetically pleasing. I'm going to put some on the screen. Any of those colors, those are really good. Using Nuance Script, what we're going to do is actually press this. And it actually gives us a solid. If we want to change the color, we can obviously change that to whatever we want. I think white looks really good with monograph edits. Mono edits. Monograph. <laughs> white looks really like clean so i'm gonna use white second thing is obviously depth now what do i mean by depth well i saw this really cool effect on tiktok i'm gonna use a suitcase we are going to find a couple pngs this can be anything oh these are not pngs what the frick so after we get our suitcase pngs what we're gonna do is import it using Control i or command i just drag them on here and yeah basically what i'm gonna do first is scale this down i'm going to rotate it using r and then what i'm gonna do is try to make this look aesthetically pleasing already from like this right here this already looks cool we're gonna make these 3d boom 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 and then we're gonna press this right here which is active camera i'm gonna go to left we're going to push this one up we're gonna push this first layer the highest and then we're gonna go to the second one put it like right there in the middle and then we're gonna move this one up just like a little bit as we can see it kind of scaled up and it doesn't look like there's depth but then once we add a no layer which we can add it from right here no click boom no, no layer, layer right, right there, there guys so make this 3d and then we're gonna click the first one hold shift click the bottom layer and then connect it to the null and then once we press p and we scale this one in we're out as we can see, it has depth, but we want more low key. We're just gonna plop this bad boy up here. That's depth right there. Yeah, I'm just gonna keep on adding more because I honestly like. And then once I go to the side, I can also see the depth a little bit. Number three, guys, we got drop shadows. If we wanna add a drop shadow, we don't even have to go to the effects. All we have to do is click. Guess which one it is? drop shadow so this right here this is not the cleanest drop shadow for what we're going for so what i'm gonna do is change the softness and we're gonna do it just like that and then we can add a little bit of softness but i think once you drop the opacity down just a little bit and then you have distance like the appropriate amount of distance i think it looks good so i think about there is good and then what we can do is just copy and paste this effect so command c command v command b what we can do is change direction of it we can change it to go this way honestly it didn't really need drop shadow but number four we have graphs i'm going to show you how to do it press p on your no layer and then you're going to press position and then you're going to go in the beginning go forward boom just highlight these keyframes fn if you have windows or you can just like create a shortcut we're going to actually press this we're going to press that and then go to speed graph and then we're going to kind of like change it to whatever we want i think that that looks good. This is what it looks like with the motion blur. Ooh. Number four, no, number five, we have text. So we're gonna add text, obviously. So just right click, new text. Okay, I'm just gonna put time to travel. You have to have the right font. So I have this font right here. I'm going to make it black. And then what I'm gonna do is scale this up, press S. And then guys, if I want to change the anchor point of my text, all I have to do is press this corner or this corner. Or this corner or if i want to center i just press the center thing i think i'm gonna scale this down just a little bit this is too big duplicate this again Control d and then guys like mess around with the rotation it's it just adds to it like that's all i can say for real just do it we're gonna duplicate the time one more time see what i did there and then we're gonna put travel and then we're gonna put it right there i want to hollow out my text right here so to do that what i have to do is double click it i have to remove the fill and then i'm gonna add a stroke 
going to be black and then I'm going to increase the stroke. And then as you can see, my text is hollow. After that, what we're going to do is create a new no layer. So we're going to press this from our prime tools. We're going to put this at the top, connect all our text to the no layer. Oh, also make these 3D, sorry. And then we're going to move this over pressing P and then we are going to put this like maybe right here. After we do that, we can connect this layer to our first null. Add motion blur if you want. You know what it like looks like? It looks like a commercial kind of. Anyways, going back to our graphs, what we can do is add some motion to this tech. And then boom. And then if you look at like the point where there's like more motion blur, we're just gonna match our graph to that. It just adds like motion to it, I guess. Yeah. I really like that opacity flicker in, and that's gonna be under there's like too much flicker like right there we're just gonna press U on our keyboard and we can just delete these like last few keyframes hold up yeah we're gonna have it like stop right there we're gonna delete this and we're gonna delete that it's a little bit better I also don't like this part so I'm gonna delete that as well I like that I like that we can obviously like add a text expression go watch my video if you haven't already time to travel guys what's a monograph edit without shapes add a new solid layer and we're gonna press this button obviously and then we can change it to whatever color we want I'm gonna do red anyways after that we're going to do a shape so this can be any shape I'm gonna start off with a star put this at the bottom of the layers that we want i'm gonna put it like right there oh the anchor points off hold up hey did you guys see how handy that was like and then this should be like a part of it and then adding to that movement we, we're just gonna make a keyframe for rotation we can also add some trim paths i actually went over this in one of my youtube videos i definitely suggest you check that out i'm just gonna like do something really fast let's play this back boo, 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 boo. yes i'm just playing around seeing what looks best oh guys this is cute this is cute last thing with this depth adding blur and then if we add it to this one oh that blur where's blur blur boom yeah and then just like that should be good guys that just added so much i can't i can't even lie all right and then what i all i have to do left is pre-compose here. thank you guys so much for watching i really appreciate the support thank you guys so much for 9,000 subscribers yo <laughs> we're almost at 10k like we're at 9.5k right now y'all okay anyways have a good one stay safe and i'll see you in the next video bye or should i say i love you Juan. okay since Juan let me use his tools early we're gonna end the video with i love you Juan. yo i'm so corny okay